What's going on, fellow veterans? Brian Reese here, Air Force Service Disabled Veteran and founder of VA Claims Insider, coming at you live from Austin, Texas. And today we are going to deep dive everything you need to know about the VA Disability 55 Year Rule. Now, what the heck is the VA Disability 55 Year Old Rule? Well, here's something I want you to consider and I want to make sure you're aware of. The VA always reserves the right to make changes to your VA disability benefits, and they can do that through a reevaluation. Okay, they always have that right to see if your disability has improved, to see if it's worsened, or to see if it's remained the same. Now, VA raters must consider whether your VA disability condition is static and or permanent before making a re-examination request. But here's what I really need you to understand about the VA disability 55-year-old rule. You are protected from a VA rating reduction if you are aged 55 or older. Now, I'll share an example of how you're protected from a reevaluation for, say, post-traumatic stress disorder if you're 55 years of age or older. Okay, let's say you're currently rated at 50% for PTSD, all right? And medical evidence supports the increase of your evaluation to 70%, okay? It also shows that you've been attending weekly counseling sessions, you've been meeting with a therapist, you're taking medications. The prognosis is hopeful, and it's possible that your condition is going to approve over time, okay? The claim is then forwarded on to the VA rater, okay? Here's what needs to happen. The VA rater must award the 70% rating for PTSD. You were at 50, filed for an increase. Should it go to 70? Yes, okay? Why? Because the medical evidence demonstrates that you meet the criteria for the higher evaluation, which is 70%. Then what needs to happen is the VA rater needs to deem it static, meaning it's not going to improve with time, and they're not going to schedule a routine future examination. Now, in this example, the veteran I'm using is born in 1963. Okay, I'll let you do the math. Now, under normal circumstances, let's say you're age 30. Under normal circumstances, if you're within five years of your evaluation of a mental health condition and it's not deemed static or you're not already 100% P&T, the VA rater is likely going to schedule you for what's called an RFE, a routine future evaluation, which is three calendar years from the decision. They typically do it in blocks of three years, three to five years, uh, especially for mental health conditions. However, in this particular example, the veteran is already close to 55 years old. So what is supposed to happen here? Okay. The, vet, the VA rater is supposed to mark this condition as static, meaning it's not going to improve over time, and they should not schedule a routine future evaluation. Now, why is that? Again, remember, because of the VA disability 55-year-old rule you're protected from a VA rating reduction, okay? Now, there are three really important exceptions to the VA 55-year-old rule. The first exception is fraud, okay? If your VA disability rating, the original rating was based on fraud, the rating can always be reduced or eliminated. The second exception is P&T, Let's say you're already deemed 100% permanent in total, you're exempt from any of the disability rating rules, okay? And you're also exempt, the third reason, if your disability is not expected to improve. Remember, it's static and permanent and not likely to improve over time. It is highly, highly unlikely, fellow vets, if you are age 55 years or older, for the VA to ever reevaluate any of your disabilities. If they do, it's because you've done something to make them reevaluate it. Say, file for an increase. OK, 
okay, on a disability. Um, but the thing you need to remember about the 55 year old rule gang is that you're highly likely to not be reevaluated. And even if you are, the likelihood of your rating be reduced is extremely low. Okay, now, if you need some help, if you have questions about your VA disability compensation claim, if you wanna speak to an expert to find out how you can get the VA rating you deserve faster, okay, maybe that's an increase, maybe you think you're due special monthly compensation that you don't have, maybe you were wrongfully denied a claim, that you believe is valid and should be service connected, we exist to help you. All right. Now, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a blue banner. You can book a free VA claim strategy call with one of our experts. There is zero obligation to you and your family. There are zero high pressure sales tactics. This is simply an opportunity for you to speak with an expert about your claim. Okay. Now I highly recommend you take advantage of this. Spots are limited. Okay. So grab the best date and time that works for you. Again, look at the blue bar across the bottom of the screen. You can also go to vaclaimsinsider.com. And on that very first page, you're going to see, it says, are you tired of fighting the VA alone? Click the button, book your free call. Fellow vets, Thank you for your service. Thank you for your sacrifice. I appreciate you very much. God bless you and your family. And we'll talk real soon.